So I apologize for not filming too much, but I've been working on this in just like an hour here, hour there, because it was over kind of New Year's, Christmas time, so I haven't had too much free time to be out here due to family obligations. But I've been pulling out the wiring for the clutch sensor. Not too complicated, but it just takes a really long time to unwrap all this harness. So it's originally wrapped in, you know, their typical automotive cloth covering. And that stuff's sticky, it's a pain to pull off, it just takes forever. So it's like just unwrapping meters of tape from this thing. And now we're going to run these wires into the Avant so that it knows that it's got a clutch. So when we hook everything up, it can actually start. So blue wire goes to body control module, and purple wire goes to parking brake sensor. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is pull out the interior on the Avant. So we're going to pull out the seats, they're already unbolted, they just need to come out. And then some of the panels, we've already got one out along here, we're going to pull out the rest of them so that we can follow the wiring along into the trunk area. And then I'm going to splice in this wiring as well as start swapping out all the modules from the S4. So over on this shelf we've got all the modules, there's the parking brake controller, the body controller modules, the ECU, all that good stuff has to go in so we don't get any weird faults when we try and start this thing. Alright, all the trim is out that I need to pull. So I'm going to carry all this upstairs to the attic. Uh, we'll store it up there for now. I unfortunately broke a couple clips, but hopefully between the two cars I have all intact panels for everything. I need to get rid of all this old A4 steering, suspension, uh, brake stuff, just because that's, that's in my way. And then I'm going to pull the carpet out so we have full access. We'll get everything really cleaned up while we're in here. There's a ton of dog hair and just general dirt in the back seat. So we'll get this all scrubbed up nicely at some point too. So I'm just going to finish pulling out the center console. There's a couple more screws that I didn't get to last time. All right, so we're at the back of the car now. I've got um, the carpet lifted up and I ran my wires all the way through. So I've got um, wire for parking brake and for the body control module. So we've got the parking brake module down here. BCM2 is over here. So now I'm going to um, splice those in. We've got our wiring diagram here. So this is the parking brake. Um, the wire on the right is calling out the violet and gray wire, which is this one. So I ran into a little problem last night with the parking brake module. Uh, the electrical connector has this kind of blue plastic plug inside of it. So that's what the wires pass through and then go down to the actual end of the connector, which you'd see if you look at this side. So um, these clips are different. They basically limit where the wires can go through. So you can see some of those holes are drilled out. And then on the back side, some of them are basically capped off struggling to focus here but you get the idea so they are specific to the wiring setup I'm guessing they use this as an assembly aid at the factory so you can't miswire the harness when you're assembling it but it means I have to fully depin this harness pull out that connector cover cap thing and then replace it with this blue one so it's a, there's a white one on that side we'll swap it out it's just gonna take a couple minutes to depin everything pulled out all the wires you can see I've got them all over here um, I use this Schwaben tool. Uh, it works pretty well once you figure out the trick, which is, you know, basically everything Audi. So I got the plugs out. I'll pop the blue one in now, and then we can put the wires in. Got everything pinned in, and I'm just going to plug in the S4 module, which is pretty cool because this is the first S4 piece going in. Um, I'll plug that in, and then we'll move on to the BCM2 over here. Okay, just working on getting ready to swap the rest of the modules. I'm pulling the carpet out fully. I started off doing this thinking I could kind of just, you know, lift up the sides and tuck wires where I wanted to. But um, apparently the previous owner had dogs in the car a lot. There's a ton of dog hair everywhere. It's really gross. Um, the car smelled awful when I got it. And it actually looks like something peed in the back seat footwell at one point. So I just want to get this cleaned out as much as possible. Because if we're going to do this crazy fresh build, might as well have the car match it, right? So, uh, it's not too bad pulling the carpet out, it's just a bit unwieldy. Alright, this is the full uh, carpet from the Avant, but now I've got full access to all the wiring so we can make sure everything is spliced in and run cleanly. So here's the other thing we're going to have to splice in. Um, the A4 only has one of the ESP sensors. So I'll have to pop in the other one from the S4. Luckily it does have the mounting points for it. 
So it's just going to be some more wiring splicing to do to carry that over. Got the seats out, got pretty much everything out of here that I need to take out, except for all the dirt. So I'm going to do some deep cleaning now, vacuum all as much crap as I can. There's a little bit of mold in the corner, so I'll clean everything out, get it all nice and you know factory fresh as I can so that this build is delicious when it's done instead of smelling terrible. So I'm up front of the car, I'm working on kind of the last part of the manual transmission wiring. So this is the clutch uh, switch and clutch sensor plug. And basically you've got this grommet that exits the ECU housing. And you need to pass these wires that we spliced in through that. So that's been pretty difficult. This um, grommet is filled with kind of a sticky RTV type um, black adhesive. And I'm guessing that's just pumped in through these ports on the front at the factory after the harness is passed through and that provides weather sealing once you clamp down the uh, ECU case. Huge progress going on. Being been working on figuring out the wiring for the sports diff. So the A4 doesn't have this secondary um, ESP sensor, so I'm adding that in. And then it's got the same wiring as this, so there's some CAN bus, uh, power, ground, pretty simple. So we'll splice that in. I need to get some splices still. Uh, I've got pretty much all of this stuff wrapped up for the sport or for the manual transmission and the clutch sensor That's all in I just threw in the s4 um, Instrument cluster. It's just three bolts and one plug. So that's not a big deal It'll probably end up coming out again at some point for clearance to get the pedal box in remember how I said I wasn't gonna put the sports diff in to start with I do that later on well Change of plans. I'm gonna go for it. I got the wiring harness out So you see that kind of loom that we've got loose over here and then um, basically I need to poke a hole through the body if there isn't one already. I'll have to peel this panel back and check. Hopefully it's there, but if not, we'll get out the hole saw. And then really what we've got is this uh, CAN bus line. So there's two of them. One splices into one that's in this parking brake kind of module already. The other one runs up front and splices in at our favorite mess of wires up front under the footwell. And then we've got some power then ground that go over here and here so it's really not too big a deal so i'm just going to get it over with we've got to install the esp sensor up front as well so we're just going to splice all the can stuff in in one go broke out the crappy old harbor freight hole saw set and i guess you can call this the point of no return right so i'll clean up that hole i'll paint the edges of it with some sealant so it doesn't uh rust over there so I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the hole I just drilled for the sports stiff wiring. So I'm going to work up front on the um, ESP sensors that I'm splicing in. So here's the extra sensor. Here's the wire that I cut out for it. Um, we've got a ground that we need to splice in at the main ground connection up front. And then also you'll see we've got this little um, kind of purple and black wire that I chopped off. That splices into this part. They actually conveniently leave... Um, this little loop so I'll actually just cut this loop open uh, strip both ends and this one splice all three together and then that's factory OEM that's how they wire it all right I got my crimp on here and then I've got some heat shrink tubing I kind of sealed the end of this by melting it shut so I'll slip this over and then um, I'll heat shrink this down and that should be pretty much as close as you can get to the OEM style Got the uh, whole sports stiff uh, wired in in the back. I've wrapped it up with tape so it's all nice and clean. You can see uh, it's kind of the messiest part. I ran these wires outside the bundle just because I didn't want to open up everything. All right, I lied. I'm pulling off the wrapping on this part of the loom so I can get this looking really neat and factory. Uh, I got the whole ESP system wrapped in. So that's all tied in up here now. So the final thing to do is splice. Um, I've got, I think, three of these uh, CAN bus wires up front. So I'll splice those in and then I've got that brown ground wire and I think I've got a red power wire still. They need to get spliced in to the main harness and then we're good to go. So you might remember us complaining about a terrible smell in the Avant in I think the first episode. And it turns out somebody had a lot of dogs. Uh, I think I mentioned that I was cleaning out a ton of hair from the back seat area. And there was also what appears to be a lot of dog urine in the kind of footwell area under the carpet. So uh, we're doing a lot of disinfecting now. Faith's helping me with some Lysol wipes, get it all cleaned out so that once this car's together, it hopefully smells a little better. We just ran out to Joanne Fabrics and got some of this uh, polyester batting type material to replace um, what was in the footwells in the back seats. So this is all stained and gross. We actually threw out the other one already because it was moldy.
All right, the carpet is in, it's looking great. I actually went in pretty easily, which is cool. Um, way better than some of the other stuff we've done. It just kind of all fits where it's supposed to go. So we're gonna do some more deep vacuuming now to really get it cleaned up. And then we'll put the seats in. All right, we threw the seats in because they are part of the component protection system. So we need that. And then I'm gonna put the steering wheel on and then we'll see what happens. I'm gonna plug in the battery. We've got on the steering wheel in now. It's incredibly angry. All right, let me come to this side. Yeah. Just to show you guys how angry this thing is. Service due. Because we have some work to do. That's very angry. We've got just about every issue you could probably have on a car going on right now, but it's alive. So I won't start it just yet. I need to put some oil in it still. The real question though, and this is what I've been waiting for for a long time, is do we have Sirius XM? And apparently we still might. Nope, we don't have a, we don't have a subscription. I guess in that case, scrap it. We'll shut off the whole project to get a different car.